Well, in May 2010, Daniela became the first Miss Kentucky Latina. Her reign came to a screeching halt when she was arrested in September after an alleged assault uh, replaced her crown with cuffs. As you can see here, I've done quite a few pageants. I started pageants when I was in high school. I ended up liking it, meeting new people, getting dressed up. It was fun, and eventually I won a couple here and there. This is the very last pageant I competed in. Although it was a fun pageant, things turned out a little different than I expected. She lost her crown because police say she went on a royal rampage. A couple of bizarre attacks landing a beauty queen in jail. I had a couple drinks, ended up getting drunk. Police say she stabbed a gas station attendant and beat up a pharmacist. I stopped over at a gas station and then the gas attendant said something kind of creepy to me. The first thing out of my mouth was like, okay, well then how would I just stab you in the neck with a pen? She dabbed him in the neck with a pen before running over to M&M to try and find, find her car. Marianne McKinney is still recovering from cuts and bruises. The pharmacist says a woman was beating on her car, and when she walked outside, the woman started beating on McKinney. The pharmacist lady she attacked me. She immediately kicked me, ripped at me, and tore my glasses off and ripped my neck. And grabbed me by the shirt and by the hair, so I punched and kicked her to get her off of me. Police charged her with assault, disorderly conduct, and criminal mischief. Miss Latina U.S. organization stripped her of her title. If I had really truly stabbed that person or really injured that pharmacist lady, I would think they would end up in the ER. Everything was blown out of proportion. Okay, um, y'all don't live boring lives. That actually happened prior to me, Dr. Well, Fong. I know. What made you say, well, how about I just stab you in the neck with a pen? I mean... I didn't... I really didn't How do does it. that even come to your mind? Because you... he said something to me so stupid and, and so just wrong and creepy that I just said something creepy back and I walked away. Did you have a pen? No, I didn't have a pen. Actually, I got out of the car and I didn't have anything on me. But and you didn't stab him with a pen? No, no, not at all. Why were you beating up that car? Because, um, well, as... Did you as, think it was your car? I did. As I said before, I, was, I had too many drinks. I had a really bad day, and I know it's no excuse. It really isn't. But, yeah, I confused that car uh, for the rental car I had that day, and I, it wouldn't open because, duh, it was the wrong car. So. <laughs> so she comes out to get you off of her car. Pretty much, And then yeah. so then you two get in a scuffle. Yeah. Yeah. Just that I'm tired of that crap, and I don't want it. Well, that, that was... Five years ago. Uh, yeah, that's what usually tells me. That was five years ago, that was three years ago, that was whatever, whatever, whatever. Well, but, you know, it's kind of tiring to see. No, no she's in a much better place, for sure, today. Well, why'd she that. do that? I have no idea. Well, you raised her. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I raised two daughters. <laughs> yeah. 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 With the best examples, you know, not to be violent, not to be attacking people, not to be getting drunk, no. That was with my ex that I was with. He was, it was a very bad relationship, very bad marriage. And she said you've gotten married twice before without telling her. Yeah, cause like I'm afraid to tell her anything. Cause probably they had a fight or I don't know what they did. No, I just had a final straw and I actually tried to commit suicide two weeks before that. So that's the kind of, and you she, know. I don't know if she even knows that. She, she gets involved with people that take advantage of her, and, and that's my worry, and that's why I flew all the way from the East Coast to be here to get the help for the two of them, because now they have a beautiful baby that they both have to work very hard to give her the best examples. So no more drinking, well, no chewing tobacco, just be throat. healthy. I don't do that at all. You don't do what? Harping down her throat, no. She says you are narcissistic and overbearing. She can think whatever she wants to. Well, I'm just telling you. That's OK. You, I don't you, care. I mean, like I told you, I tried committing suicide by crashing a car under oncoming traffic just before that. That's when I needed a mom, anyone. Yeah, where well, you were in another state married to this guy. So what, am I supposed to go moving with you so that I can watch you? Talk to me to on the guy? phone, something. How would I know? You didn't tell me anything. <laughs>